Hey guys, today on Know Your Produce, we're making creamy mushroom soup. This soup is so easy to whip up and it's so comforting, especially during those cold winter nights or just when you want a really good bowl of soup. If you love mushrooms, you are going to absolutely love this recipe. Now to make this really simple, we use our condensed cream of mushroom soup. It's loaded with flavor and mushrooms and I love having it on hand for recipes like this one. So let's get started. We're gonna take that and measure into a cup and put it right into our saucepan. We basically wanna heat this up. We're not just using this as is because it's very thick on its own. We're gonna add some broth, some oat milk, and a little bit of herbs. I'm using a silicone whisk to whisk this all around. We wanna heat this up and really get it nice and warm before we just add the liquids. And now you can see it's nice and bubbly. While it's doing that, I'm going to add in my fresh thyme. We want that flavor to get out of that thyme and into the soup, and that is the best Best way to do it before we add in that broth and the liquids. So now I'm just going to mix this around and let it really incorporate into that mushroom mixture. And now that it's nice and bubbly again, I'm going to be adding in the liquid. We're using oat milk along with our favorite vegetable broth. And when you do this, you wanna make sure that you whisk this all together. You can see the condensed soup is kind of like stuck to the pan. So you just wanna take your whisk and really get into all the grooves and all of that is mixed thoroughly and combined before you get it to a boil. You don't want that condensed soup to scorch on the bottom of the pan. So make sure you really mix it well. And now once it reaches that boil, you wanna take it down to a simmer. We really want that flavor to just incorporate. We're not trying to boil this to cook it for hours. This soup is meant to be quick and easy. That's why we use the condensed soup and it saves us a lot of time. Everything's already flavorful. We're just making sure that the broth that we just added gets all of that delicious mushroom flavor in it as well. And also the fresh herbs. Another great use for that condensed soup would be a green bean casserole. I absolutely love making this for the holidays or just when you're craving something that you like for comfort. Now back to our creamy mushroom soup. It is simmering away beautifully. I actually like to take my whisk every so often and just scrape the bottom of the pan just to make sure nothing is sticking. And I did speed this up just so you can see that I like to go in and whisk it every so often. And you can see it's bubbling here and there as well. Now this soup is ready to serve. I like to give it one final whisk before I put it right into the bowls. And now would be a great time to remove the thyme if you prefer. Um, I do like to remove the stems, but if there's any little leaves in there, they are absolutely fine to stay into the soup. And then we just ladle it right into the favorite bowls that we have. This serves about two people, but if you wanted to serve more, you can absolutely double this recipe. It is super simple to double. We hope you like and enjoy this recipe as much as we do. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.